All types of epilepsy are not treated the same. Um, broadly, if we have to describe the kinds of epilepsies um, that, uh, uh, that exist out there, there are those where seizures start from certain regions of the brain. It could be one or sometimes more. And then there are those where the seizures start nowhere in particular in the brain. The whole brain has this increased excitability. We call those, uh, those types of epilepsies the generalized epilepsies, as opposed to the seizures which arise from certain regions of the brain. In, in both types of epilepsy, the initial treatment is very similar. You treat it with medications that decrease the excitability of the brain and try to prevent seizures. None of the therapies that are available for seizures rectify the underlying uh, electrical problem in the brain. They don't uh, fix the uh, network problem in the brain that is causing the seizures to arise. All they do is control them, prevent them from happening. In patients where the seizures come from a certain part of the brain uh, and uh, consistently arise from a certain region of the brain, if uh, medications fail to control seizures, then um, we explore the possibility of surgical treatment where we try to identify precisely where the seizures come from, identify the functional networks that live in that part of the brain, and if it's possible to remove the epileptic part of the brain without disrupting other function, then we can um, surgically uh, get rid of the problem. Um, for patients with generalized epilepsy, at this point, medications are the primary treatment uh, method. There are certain dietary measures that can work for both types of epilepsy. And uh, this is a, these are diets where you try to change the metabolism to uh, one where, we are, where the brain is not using glucose for, uh, for its energy needs, but uh, switching to uh, fats and uh, proteins. Um, Aside from these um, uh, treatments for patients with partial epilepsy or the kind where seizures come from some part of the brain, um, there's a device uh, that has been around for about uh, 50, more than 15 years now called the vagus nerve stimulator, which is a, um, a pacemaker-like device that's planted under the skin on the chest wall and connects to a nerve in the neck called the vagus nerve. And by repeatedly uh, stimulating that nerve, it can reduce seizures gradually over a period of time. It is by no means a cure. It can only help uh, adjunctively with other medications help reduce seizures. Another treatment that is available for patients where uh, surgery is not possible because the regions of the brain causing the seizures are too close to important functions in the brain is called responsive neurostimulation. In this case, we go through the process of identifying what part of the brain is causing the seizures but then uh, we don't surgically remove that portion of the brain. We plant uh, an implanted um, electrode overlying that part of the brain, which is attached to a device that continuously monitors the electrical activity of that region of the brain. And then whenever it starts to go into a seizure, it will um, send out a series of electrical impulses to disrupt that seizure. So, um, so there are a few different types of treatments, and uh, there are some that are in trials, both medications, and devices to uh, control seizures.